it's important to rectify this story, which is that these technologies are exclusively used for good purposes and for fighting evil and for fighting crime and terrorism and all that. Okay, so no, Khadija is coming. <laughs> Hi, Claudio. Okay. Hi. So now tell me how bad it is. Okay, um... There are definitely some records uh, that, that indicate various points where the phone uh, seemed to have been compromised. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started feeling like I played doctor in the 1300s. I'm basically kind of just keeping the death count. I'm contributing to creating a trauma here, and I can see it in many cases. Like I can see it that they are, right now they're going to a traumatic moment. And I'm like that person in the room that is breaking it. Um, there are also some more recent records from even as recent as early May of this year, so until a couple of weeks ago. Um, but all in all, it seems like this probably extended between 2019 and 2020, 2020 at the very least. I've been told that you will not know what exactly had been uh, monitored or uh, recorded. Yeah. With these kinds of, kind of uh, monitoring technology, the point where they have that level of access to the device, virtually everything is possible. So, yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hi. Hi. That's not great news. All night I've been thinking about what did I do with my phone. And I feel guilty. I feel guilty to, for the messages I've sent. I feel guilty for the information sources that who sent me thinking that some encrypted messaging ways are secure. They did it and they didn't know that my phone is infected. I mean, my family members are uh, also victimized, the, the sources are victimized. Everyone, I mean, people I've been working with, people who told me their private secrets are victimized. Everyone, I mean, it's not just me. I, I put so many people in danger. And, and I'm angry. I, Again, I'm angry. I'm angry with the government. I'm angry with the companies that produce all these tools and sell it to the bad guys, like Aliyev regime. It's 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 really it's despicable. It's heinous. Kadijna is not a terrorist. Kadijna is not a criminal. She's a journalist that is taking a lot of risk to write some stories, to make sure people will get access to independent information. So that was one more evidence of the global misuse of that spyware. 